Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design using React.js. Now in the previous video, we created the component for this topic section. And uh, this is how it looks right now. So in this video, we will add some CSS and make it look like this. So let's get started. Right, this is a topics.jsx file and we need to add the CSS inside this topics.css file. But before adding the CSS for this topics section, let's add some basic CSS for all the other components in our website. So if you go back to our uh, Figma design, here we can see we have this heading and if you scroll down here also we have the heading and here also we have the heading. Now for all these headings, we have the same styling. So we need to have the styles for this heading inside the index.css file where we have all the global CSS. So let's go back and let's go to the index.css file and let's add some CSS over here. So I'll just type sections. And the first thing we will do is we will add some styles to the sections. So let's go back to our Figma file and here if I click on this heading and if I press option and hover over this upper area, here we can see we have a spacing of 80 pixels. So we need to add a padding of 80 pixels for all the sections. So let's go back and let's type padding and let's set it to 80 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right. And for most of the sections, we have a text color of white. So let's also set the color of the text to white for all the sections. All right, now let's style the heading. So if you double click over here and if you go to this heading text and if you go to inspect and if you scroll down, here we have the CSS for the heading. So I'll just copy these three lines of code from here and let's add it to the heading. So if you go to the topics.jsx file, here we can see for the heading inside the section, we are using an h2. So here let's type section h2 and let's paste the code over here. And if you go to the index.html file, let's see the weight. So for inter, we are using 600 and 800. So I'll just change this to 800. And now let's go back to our website. And uh, this is how it looks right now. Now before continuing with our styling, let's go ahead and change the background color of the section. So let's go back. And if you go to the topics.jsx file, here we can see for this section, we also have a class name of black. So let's use that class name over here in the index.css file. So here I just type dot black. And when we have this black class, we will add a background color of black. And now we can see that everything is being displayed. And while we are here, let's also add different background colors for different sections. So if we go to the Figma file, here we have this dark background color, and then we have this pink color, and then we have this dark background color. So let's go back and here let's type dark gray. And uh, here just add a background color of the dark variable that we have over here, dark color. So let's type var dark color and then we have the pink section. So let's type pink and here let's type background var pink. Right now let's continue styling the heading. So here if you go back to our website, this is how the heading looks. Now if you go back to the Figma file, here we can see below the heading we also have another element. So we have this underline. So let's select this rectangle right here. And if you go to the inspect and if you scroll down, here we have the styles for that. So we will use an after selector for this underline. So let's go back to our CSS. And uh, here let's type section h2 colon colon after. And for the content, I'll just type blank. And we need to position this after selector relative to this h2. So let's type position relative over here. And uh, here let's type position absolute. And let's copy these two styles from here. And let's paste it over here. And we need to set the background color to the variable, which is red color. And uh, let's also set the left position to zero and the bottom position to, let's try negative 10 pixels. So let's go to our website. And now we can see we have this underline and it looks all right. Now, if you go back to the Figma file, here we can see there are two types of headings. We have a heading with this red underline, and then we have another heading with this yellow underline. So for that, let's go back and uh, 
let's add some styles for that. Now for the headings, we will have a class of light for these yellow underlines. So I just type section h2 dot light column column after and when we have this light heading then I just change the background color to var yellow color. Now if you go back to the Figma file here we can see that the text is on the left side and the image is on the right side. So if you go to the topics.jsx file here we have this division with the class of content container and in that we have the ul and the image. So I'll just add a display of flex to this content container. So here I'll just type section content container and we set the display to flex. Alright, that's it with the CSS for the index.css file. Now let's go to our topics.css file and let's add the CSS of the topics section. So if you go back to the topics.jsx file, here we have this section with an ID of topics. So here let's type hash topics and uh, let's go back to our website. And first of all, let's resize the image. So here I'll just target the image. For the image, we have this division with the class of topic image. So I'll just type dot topic image img. And uh, let's set the width to 550 pixels. And uh, let's set the object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions. Now we can see that the image looks all right. Right now let's style this topics list. So if you go back to the JSX file, for the topics list, we have a UL. Let's also give it a class name of topics list. Let's go back to the CSS file and let's target that. I'll just type hash topics, topics list. And first of all, let's remove the bullets. So let's type list style and let's set it to none. And we'll also remove the margin and the padding of the default list. And uh, let's set a margin left. So if you go back to the original design, we can see we have some margin left over here for these list items. So let's type margin left and I'll just set it to 24 pixels. Right now let's style these list items. So let's go back and let's type hash topics, topics list li. And uh, for the list items, we have a different font. So we have this Allegria font. So I'll just type font family Allegria and uh, let's also set the other styles. So let's go back to the Figma file. Let's select this and let's scroll down and let's copy the font size and the font weight and uh, I'll just paste it over here. And let's also add some margin between these elements. So let's type margin and I'll just add a margin of 24 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right. And this is how the topics look right now. Now for the topics, we also have this red bullet over here. So if you go back to our CSS, we have already removed the bullets using list style of none. So we will use the before selector for adding our custom bullets. So let's type topics, topics list, li colon colon before. And we need to position this relative to the topics. So here we need to type position relative and here we need to first of all type content and we'll just set it to blank. And let's set the position to absolute. And let's set the background color to variable of red color. And let's go back to the Figma file. And if we select this bullet, here we can see we have a width and height of eight pixels. So let's copy this. And let's paste it over here. And we also need to add border radius of 50% so that it has a round shape. And uh, now if you go back to our website, we need to add some positioning. So let's set the left position to negative 24 pixels and let's set the top position to 50%. Now it starts from the 50% mark. So we also need to type transform, translate y, negative 50%. And now we can see it is in the correct position. Now here we can see that the topics and the images are too close to each other. So if we go back to the JSX file, here we can see we have this content container division for the UL and the image. So let's target that. Let's type topics content container and we will set the justify content to space between. And now we can see that the image is on the extreme right and the topics are on the left side. And we'll also align them to the center vertically. So let's type align items to the center 
and let's also add a padding and I'll just type 12 pixels and uh, I think that looks alright right now the last thing we need to do is we need to style this element right here now for that we have this uh, image with a class name of BG element 1 now we need to position that relative to the wrapper of this topic section so we need to set the position of the wrapper to relative so here let's type topics wrapper position relative and here let's type topics bg element 1 and let's set the position to absolute and uh, we'll set the right position to negative 24 pixels and let's set the bottom position to 0 and let's see how it looks so this is how it looks and uh, i think it looks all right so with that we have completed styling the topics section now in the next video we will see how to style the next section which is this info section right here right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day